Hey guys, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and I'm going to show you how you can downgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 7 or Windows 8. First what you need to do is you need to check if you are um, capable of downgrading your Windows 10 to the previous operating system that you used. Um, if you uh, had uh, the upgrade to Windows 10 for uh, less than a month, uh, you should be able to downgrade. If not, uh, you should uh, start uh, with a clean install of uh, your previous operating system. Is it Windows 7 or Windows 8? And uh, you should have to format the disk and uh, perform uh, an installation from scratch. Uh, in this case, um, if you have the update in less than a month, uh, you should be able to see the windows.old folder which contains uh, all of the um, old operating system files. Um, as I said before, uh, there is another way to check it if you go to the settings and update and security, the recovery option on the left you can see the option go back to Windows 7 or Windows 8 if you had a previous installation of Windows 8 before upgrading to Windows 10. If you did a fresh install of Windows 10 you won't be able to revert back to older operating system so you need to perform uh, installation of uh, Windows 7 or 8 from scratch again. Um, as this is, um, I want all of my applications and all of my documents to be saved during the um, downgrade. I've uh, saved an important document on my desktop and uh, I'm just going to leave that for testing purposes so I can see that uh, um, I've downgraded only without any format uh, formatting on my disk. So in this case uh, I will get started to downgrade my system. Okay, it's going to ask you what are the um, reasons that you want to uh, revert back to your old operating system. Uh, I'm going to select the first option for example, my apps or devices don't work on Windows 10. So I'm going to click next. Uh, now um, the Windows is going to ask me if I want to update my computer so uh, it what it will do is it will try to fix all the problems that I have for example with my applications and devices uh, but I don't want to um, check for updates I want to downgrade Um, it's, g it's going to warn you that uh, if you go back you will have to reinstall the programs, you will lose changes made to the settings after the upgrade to Windows 10, but um, yeah, it's going to warn you to um, back up your files and it's going to say that this solution shouldn't affect them but it's best to be prepared. So. Um, the best way to do it is uh, copy all of your information from your desktop and your documents folder and uh, store them in another partition where you don't have any operating system installed. So I'm going to click next. Okay, it's going to warn me that if I had a password to sign into Windows 7, it's going to um, ask me to log into my operating system with that password again. I don't have one, so I'm going to click next. Okay. Okay, and it's going to inform me that if I want to upgrade once again, I will be able to do this. So um, I'm going to click go back to Windows 7. It's going to restart my computer. Okay, um, it's going to uh, start restoring your previous version of Windows. The 
depending on your computer configuration, this could take some time to uh, fully restore our previous system. Uh, but note that after all, it's uh, going to revert back to an older operating system on, on the computer. So you can sit back and wait for uh, the restoration to fully uh, finish. So I'm going to pause the video and when this is done, we are going to proceed with the next steps. So after the restoration is done, it's going to restart your computer and it's going to you'll be, you'll be able to see your uh, old Windows operating system that you had. In this case, I'm going to uh, revert to Windows 7. So it's going to start my Windows 7. Okay, so the the revert to uh, my old operating system actually did quite fast within less than five minutes let me see if that would be fully operational and if I would uh, still have my documents on my desktop okay so yes it seems that my computer is fully operational um, there are no leftovers of Windows 10. Let me see if my really important information is on my desktop. Yes, it is. So um, that's it from uh, downgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 7. It's really easy, really fast. And uh, if you don't like the new Windows 10, you can easily revert back to your old and uh, old operating system that you are used to. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.